What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. There is a young lady that has gone viral because she was holding the sisterhood accountable. They did not like what she had to say. And we are going to go ahead and check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the clip. Woman, ask yourself a question. What else can you offer apart from your private parts? It's easy to play games on TikTok, showing your curves, your private parts, shake your bum bum and provoke men sexually. But what else can you offer apart from that? You see, you want attention, you want the man to have money, house, cars, businesses, patience, and all your attitude. But what else can you offer? You think your private part equals all that. There is a great change coming. All that play the game will experience the pain. And a time comes when your beauty and your sexiness will no longer be interesting. You see, God created woman to be a helper, not to be a taker. A wise will build up their house, and the foolish will destroy it. And what you sow, that's what you will reap. Man, look beyond. Satan has been studying you long enough to know what turns you on. What's your type? But look beyond. Deceiver, and he used the woman from the beginning. So watch and be careful because beauty is deceiving. Woman, your beauty is a gift. It shall make room for yourself. As long as you use it to play games, you will pay the price too. Finish her fatality. Now, I've mentioned this on my channel before. I think the real reason why we're having this problem is two two things. We're trying to make men and women be more like each other, but on top of that, because because we're trying to make each gender be so much like one another there doesn't seem to be much incentive to get married or have any long-term relationships anymore and you know andrew tate said it best best um the reason why you have certain societies certain countries that still follow traditional gender roles is because you know, it's a lot, things are a lot harder in these other countries versus in the United States where, you know, we pretty much live a soft life in the United States. And because of that, we have gotten so far away from our traditional roles, you know, both genders. Um, 
even though in my opinion i think men are still held to a traditional standard um but you know that's another conversation for another day but i in my opinion i think that's one of the one of the reasons why we're having so much trouble with dating because both genders have strayed so far away from their traditional roles that neither gender really feels like they have an incentive to to for anything serious which therefore why when this woman asks what else do you have to offer besides box women got upset I mean I, I've said this myself I don't know what else to tell y'all but it's like ladies if you don't want to follow traditional gender roles what do you what else what else do you really have to offer Jimmy like just, just, just think about it if you don't want to do any of the traditional stuff but still expect men to what do you have to offer besides box that, that's a very genuine question all right, on to the next clip. Oh, I used to like her uh, back in the day. Okay, so what's the difference now? Well, now she got kids. Okay, what does that mean? She didn't want to talk to me before she got kids. Why she want to talk to me now? Oh, so you one of them type of dudes. Okay. What type of dude is that? The type of dude that ain't man enough to talk to one because they got kids. Man enough? Yes. Well, first off, it has nothing to do with her having kids. It's why she has kids. Oh! So just because we're not with our baby fathers, we don't deserve to be happy, huh? We? What are you? What yes, we? we. Don't you got a nephew? Ain't I a single mother? Yeah, we. First off, did I say all single moms? I don't think I said all single moms. I'm talking about a specific group of single moms. Okay, baby, well, let's explain to me. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear this. Okay. So... You have women out here who when they was younger, they had a certain type of guy. A certain type, whether he was a hood dude, street dude, gangster, whatever the case it was. She had a certain type of dude. Let that dude hurt her, cheat on her, all these things. And consistently got pregnant by these dudes, had their babies. Now, that guy that she overlooked when she was younger, the guy that wasn't good enough, wasn't acceptable when she was younger. Oh, now she want that guy. To be the guy to accept her for who she is now. Accept all her past issues, uh, her being broken, her trust issues, her insecurities, and also the trust, and, and, uh, and, and, and accept her kids and her. Nah, she'd be alright. Nah, she'd be cool. Nah, nah, go back to your type. Your type got you. Just another example of no incentive. Like, really. And this is what a lot of women are doing. This is what you see a lot of single moms doing. And this is why Kevin Samuels always said marry before you carry. Because now I'm pretty sure that was a skit because the guy that was in the skit, I've reacted to some of his videos before. But whether it's a skit or not, it doesn't change the fact that it's, it's not a real thing in real life. There is no incentive for you to become a stepdad. You know, that was a, you know, that was a thing that was appreciated 40, 50 years ago, but now it's starting to come off like entitlement. You know what I mean? And the woman in this skit sounded very, very entitled. But then notice when he started explaining like, nah, this woman is like X, Y, and Z. And I wasn't good enough then. Why am I good enough now after you done had kids? Like, nah, stick to, stick to your type. Yo, yo, your type is what got you where you at now. I'm like, notice her whole attitude change. Why? Because she a single mom herself, so she felt the way. But I'm like this, don't like this is what happens when you push this. I don't need a man. I can do it all on my own. No incentive for men to deal with you. Especially as a single mother. Because now I got to deal with all the other headaches that come with being a stepfather. Now, on to the next clip. Some guys in the comments are like, well, no, if I bring a girl to coffee, it just means that I want to see what they're like. Exactly. That means that he has not put any type of opinion, not formed anything about you. Why would a guy be wanting to take you out 
if he doesn't know anything about you? Why? What are you doing? You're just wasting my time. You just want to see my personality. You don't want to. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you. With all due respect, this is why women fall for love bombing so fast. You look at how much money a man is willing to spend on you and equate that to how much he likes you when that has nothing to do with it. You sit up here and say that a man truly doesn't like you because he's not willing to spend a lot of money on you. You say, or people say that a coffee date is low effort, but a date is a date. At the end of the day, it don't matter where this business deal, this interview is going down. You're both, you're going to have most of the time the same type of conversation but it depends on what type of effort you bring to the table during these situations if you're already knocking the coffee date then you're probably not going to be intrigued to any of the conversations because you're upset that he took you to a coffee bar instead of steak 48 at the end of it's the same situation it's just how you perceive it you think it's low effort because he's trying to get to know you you're mad that he's not willing to spend a lot of money on you because you most likely think you're a high value individual. That's literally the problem with some people when it comes to dating. Dating is meant for you to get to know someone, not for you to sit up there and be like, you know what? I'm too good for this. I'm not going to be with this individual. These Some of these individuals could be the richest individuals in the world, but they just want to get to know you before they start spending money on you. But that's an issue. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, brother. I got the perfect response for you because this is what women like to use whenever you make this point as valid as it is. Oh, well, a man, a man that got it, he ain't going to complain about it. He just going to spend it. Yeah, those are goofies. Those are people that are not responsible with money or people that just got so much money that they that that, that they just that they they can just afford to blow it. But typically, people that aren't responsible with money aren't good long term. And here's another thing. What is so wrong about wanting to get to know somebody first before you start spending your hard earned money on them? Like, really? Did they, this, is, this is what I mean when I say men are still held to a traditional standard. And if anything, it's on steroids because now if you don't spend a certain amount of money, these women don't think you like them for real. When in reality, it's like, yeah, I don't like you because I don't know you yet. I don't know anything about you. Now, on the flip side, if I'm if I'm expected to get sex at the end of the night, you can use those exact same reasons now, can't you? No incentive. No incentive. Just another example of why dating is trash. Because a coffee date ain't good enough. E well, I mean, even if I am paying for it. Because let's be honest, even coffee dates. Get, getting a cup of coffee ain't even as cheap as it used to be. Everything in the United States don't went up. Now, I have noticed a few things that went down since I got back. Thank goodness. But still. It's like, regardless, the man is still inv investing something because you're expecting him to pay, right? You know, ain't no women out here coming out in mass saying they're going to do Dutch. All right, so let's cut the crap and quit being so damn materialistic. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description pinned in the comments as well as the latest mixtape, The Genesis. And if you want to purchase any merch, check out the Spreadshot.com link in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.